Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as you know everyone, seven days ago, I paired up my hot and tight Sally, my male and female. So this is just a little update, see how they're getting on. And uh, yeah, there's the female there. She's just moved from this corner. She's just going a little bit nuts. But uh, yeah, they're both doing perfectly fine. Um, there's been no threat posture between none of them. And uh, as I just said, they've been together uh, a week. So yeah, let's just quickly take the lid off. Yeah, and there they are there. Looking uh, perfectly fine. Um, I haven't seen no mating, uh, the dancing that they do and the courtship and stuff they do on the uh, slate. And he pulls her um, claws and pushes her around and pulls her everywhere. I haven't seen none of that, but then... No, that could have been happening when I was asleep or when I've been out. So, yeah, they've been together a week and they've been doing perfectly fine. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep them together. You never know. More chances of the uh, female becoming gravid. And all the other uh, scorpions in my collection have been doing perfectly fine. So, yeah, just a quick update on my lovely scorpion collection. All them water dishes need filling back up again i'll do that a little bit later so yeah they're all doing perfectly fine the um death stalker and my parabuthus velocis orange morph them two still haven't multed yet they're looking really elongated with the plates spreading out so yeah i'm still waiting for them to mount which is uh taking a little bit of a while but um i will be getting a, a bigger enclosure for, for my orthoricus species from Pakistan, the uh, female dwarf scorpion, because uh, there's a, an, a massive expedition coming up in May, the British uh, Tarantula Show 2017, at the Warwick Exhibition Centre, can't wait for that, it's going to be absolutely fantastic, like it is every year, so yeah, I'll be getting a new enclosure for her in May, a nice glass enclosure, Probably, I'll probably get something like a, a 6x4, something around that area. So everyone, onto the feeding. As you can see, this is my devil flower mantis, my uh, female. Uh, she molted two weeks ago. Uh, I've been putting food in, but she don't seem that interested in eating. I know I'm using the wrong food. Uh, I haven't got no money to uh, buy any uh, flies yet, but I'm going to try with her roach. Uh, let's see if she's hungry, because she desperately needs to eat. Her abdomen's looking a little bit small. So yeah, let's just uh, pop the lid off. And there she is, everyone. I've just switched the light off on my iPhone. You can get a bit of a better picture of her. So, yeah. There she is, looking absolutely beautiful. She usually comes onto my hand if I uh, just put my hand there. Sometimes she does, sometimes she don't. She's never shown me any um, threat pose. No, she's not coming onto my hand today. But uh, I have got actually got a roach inside the enclosure, so I'll take that back out and uh, let's see if she'll uh, take it down. Here goes everyone, let's see if she's hungry. And there you go. <laughs> As an eating in absolutely ages. And then all of a sudden, she eats. <laughs> So yeah, what I'll do is now guys, I'll, I'll do one of my lovely time lapses for you. So here goes everyone.
So everyone, there you go. Another little time lapse for you guys. Um, she keeps moving a lot. Um, she was moving at the start of the actual uh, time lapse. So I do actually uh, apologise for that. Um, not much I can do. As you can see, she's still moving. She's only got a little be best, a little bit of her uh, meal left. So as you can see, yeah, she keeps moving around a lot. And uh, the thing was, that roach I actually gave her, uh, it's been in her, clo in her in enclosure for about five or six days. And she wasn't really interested in it. And I give her the, the meal on the tongs and she just grabs it straight away, which was a little bit strange. So, yeah, she's doing a little dance there. She's going, hello, how are you? <laughs> so, yeah, she's a, a beautiful mantis. I uh, can't wait until she gets uh, fully grown. You can see her abdomen's um, fattened up now, which is so, so nice to see. Her abdomen was very, very small. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, that roach I gave her, it was a very large uh, large meal. So she's only got um, a little bit left. And I'll, what I'll do is, guys, I'll put her back in, back in her own enclosure. And, uh, yeah, she should uh, finish off that meal very soon. So I'm going to let her walk on the uh, mesh. And then put the mesh upside down on the lid. On the enclosure, I should say. There we go. So, yeah, I'll let her finish her meal off in peace. Let's just quickly put the, uh, put the lid on. Just to make sure her legs are not trapped. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, yeah. She should like it inside there to finish off her meal in peace. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.